Hi again, everyone. I thought I'd come back in and show you that the carrot bars are done, and that I put them on a. I cut them and put them on a plate. A couple of them wanted to fall apart because I didn't have enough oil in my pan, but as you can see, I've got them on a plate. And they look really good. Hi, good to see you, Erlene. And they look really good. And they taste really good, too. I told you I would come back in. Hi, Glenn Roy, good to see you. Welcome to those coming in. Addie, good to see you. Um, everybody coming in. Gabe, good to see you. Valerie, good to see everybody. I wanted you to see my, my um, bars. Aren't, don't they look good? They've, they got finished. <laughs> And I cut them up and put them on the plate. They wanted to fall apart. Oh, <laughs> good to see you too. Um, hi, good to see you. I, you'll have to, those that are in here now that weren't in my previous scope, you'll have to watch my previous scope. Uh, oh, you were just watching the replay? <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. But I, I promised you I would, because I, I had to let them s uh, sit for a little bit before, you know, they weren't done. They were still in the oven when I stopped the periscope before. And then I had to let them cool for a few minutes. Paul, I thought, well... I'll try to get my dishes washed while they're cooling because I need to get my dishes washed. I got a sick of dirty dishes and they're all done now. Oh, you'll rewatch it later? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I watch my replays two and three times because I may have missed something the first time. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did, Addie, showing how I made the cho these bars. Um, it's just, just before this one, and I said I would come in and show you what they look like finished. And uh, don't they look good, though? Look at that. Look at that. And... It's just got chocolate chips, and, I, and, I'll, and I'm going to post the recipe up on Facebook. Hi, Philip. Hi, those are coming in. Um, didn't they come out nice? They come out, see, see, Gabe, how they came out? They came out really nice. Look at that. See how they came out? They come out really nice. A couple of them I put at the bottom and wanted to fall apart, but look at the general rule. Don't they look nice? Look at that. Look at that. Nice and moist. And... Uh, Yes, I'm going to post them up on Facebook and YouTube. Um, vegan chocolate chips, carob. I did not use regular chocolate chips. I used carob, C-A-R-O-B. That's what I used. Yeah, they did, didn't they? <laughs> well, I don't drink milk. I don't drink milk. I, I, know, I know what you're talking about. I used to drink milk and chocolate, eat chocolate all the time, but I don't drink milk. Um, I am going to. I'm definitely going to do that early in. And I know that's why you didn't post it there. That's exactly where they're going to go. They're going to go there. They're going to go on my regular Facebook page. They're going to go up on another group on Facebook. They're going to go on YouTube. And they're going to go on Instagram. So I'm covering my bases. I already took a picture of these. I sent them to Erlene. And I'm going to put them up. And, and like I said, if anybody's in here. Um, I have... I haven't in a long time. I've made, I make my own almond milk, Gabe. I've never made oat milk, but I do make my own oat flour. Uh, welcome back, Janet. And Philip, those are coming on. These are what my bars look like. They, they came out of the oven. They weren't quite done when I shut the other periscope off. They had to cool down. And I had a, I had a dish, sink full of dirty dishes to do from all the cooking I did. And you can see they turned out really nice. And it makes about a dozen. Now, like I said on my scope previous, if you have a bigger family... And you want to make more, either make two batches or make a double batch. No, it didn't. I have them in the oven for about a half hour. Um, oh, <coughs> Glenn Roy, I post them up on YouTube. If you follow me up on YouTube, I put my recipes up there. <coughs> Plus, I post them on Facebook. Um, I will mention again that I do have a vegan Facebook group that I just started last week. I've got quite a few in there already. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. And if anybody wants to join my vegan Facebook group called Vegans or Karen's Vegan Heaven, be sure and let me know and I will add you. I've got quite a few people in there already. And basically what that is, is it's a page where we can post recipes, share the recipes, pictures. And um, where did I get carob chocolates? I happen to get mine through. <coughs> well, they, they sell it on Amazon, um, Gabe, but they also sell them through Vitacost. And I'm assuming... If you have, if you have a uh, Whole Foods where you're out there in New York, I know you're in upstate New York. They should have a Whole Foods. They have them about everywhere. You could get them there too. Let me get some water. You could get them. Um, yeah, Amazon. That's why I buy a lot of my stuff, my carob powder and things like that. 
Oh, you did? I, no, I don't have that here. But that's good, Erlene. That's good. We don't have that here, so. Yeah, you might. At the Whole Foods sells that. Yes, you could find it at Whole Foods. Uh, oh, yeah, you can check. If they don't have it, Trader Joe's might have it. But I do have the uh, Vitacost app on my phone. And I like to, to go through Vitacost and check and see what they have once in a while search. If there's not something I need, I order it. But however, it doesn't pay me to order too much from there because to save any money. So most of the time I just order from Amazon because, you know, <coughs> I get them pretty fast on there anyway. It doesn't matter. Well, I'll come back to you, Richard. Here are my, my bars. Don't they look pretty? They came out really nice. And they're very, very good. I've already tasted a little bit of them. And they look so nice. Let me go and blow my nose real quick. Welcome to all those that are in here. If I didn't say hi to you, welcome. And uh, feel free to watch my other Periscope that, that you didn't see with me making these. So that you so that you know what I, how I made them, and like I said, I'll take this recipe and I will post it up on Facebook, I'll post it up on YouTube, I'll post it up on Instagram, and like I said, if you do want to be a part of my Facebook group for vegans, I know a lot of people in here are, are vegan. They don't drink milk, they don't eat cheese, they don't eat eggs, things like that. Then send me a message and I will add you to my my Facebook group because I wanted to start one for vegans. There are other ones out there, however. But I want one on my own that we could we could share recipes with each other, you know, and do a recipe, put the recipe up on, on there and put a picture of it. And we can all share with each other um, because that's how we all learn how to make different things. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think they look beautiful. They really do. They came out better than I thought they would. Now, there's only 12 here because I didn't double the recipe. However, for a family, you would want to double the recipe, or even make two batches. Now, for a for a potluck at, at church, I would probably make a double batch, or two batches for that matter, um, because this just isn't enough. Although we do get a lot of uh, people making desserts there, so it probably wouldn't matter. But they are simple to make. There's not a lot of ingredients involved, and they are, are, are nice and, and um Chewy. I don't do that in here. I think you better go to another Periscope because I don't do that in here. Um, if you want me to show the care, the, the bars, here they are. But I'm not doing what you want me to. If you want me to, to uh, show anything else, forget it. I'm not, I'm not here for that. So you can just go hit that X at the top and leave. You're going to get reported. Oh, show the bars. Oh, here you go. Didn't they turn out good? I think they turned out really good. And they're nice and moist, too. And uh, uh, it's got almond milk in it and almond butter. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I did, I, I didn't know. I didn't know because a lot of people say that, and and when they say that, then they get blocked. So I'm glad that you didn't mean that. Uh, yeah. Um, these are so good, and they're nice and moist. And like I said, I only have twelve because I put it in an eight by eight pan. That's what I called for. But if you if you do, if you double the recipe, you have to put it in a bigger pan, a bigger casserole dish, or whatever. And I put them in a cat in a glass dish. I thought would be better, and which which we should all use. To, and that's another thing. Put most of everything you you uh, make and put in the fridge. Put it in glass containers. Now your dry your dry things like maybe chia seeds or flax or oh don't they though your flax meal or you know your sugars and stuff that are dry ingredients. I don't think that really matters. But anything liquid. You should put it in a glass container because you don't want anything seeping into your food. You know, I do have plastic containers that I measure stuff out in, but that's all I use them for. But I don't put them in there. You know, I use glass as much as I can. I'm going to have to buy me some more glassware because I don't have very much. But I find glassware is a lot better to put your stuff into. And, you know, nothing's going to happen to them. You know, and, and I think these turned out really, really good. And I'm really pleased with it. This is the first time I made that recipe. And like I said on my previous scope, I have Erlene to thank for this recipe because I didn't even know it was there. And she sent it to me in Facebook Messenger yesterday, and I got to looking at it on YouTube, and I says, well, this looks like it's fun to make. So then I decided to watch it, print out the recipe, and went and got the applesauce and everything. And so I couldn't, because I didn't have that, because that's one of the main ingredients in apple and almond butter. And 
I thought once I do that, I can make it. That's why I decided to come in here today and make this because they, I knew that they would be so very good. However, they're vegan, but you got to be careful how much you eat too. It's moderation. You know, I couldn't, I would not want to eat very many of these at once because it's, they're rich. Carob is, oh, thanks, Janet, for the super hearts. Carob is very rich. Now, like my, my creamy, uh, carob peanut butter pie that I, that I made for Sabbath potluck. I, there were two pieces left. I wasn't going to eat all those, you know, and I had a piece there, but I, I brought them home and, fi and just finished it up yesterday. I wasn't going to eat all of it up, you know. It's very rich. Stuff like this is very rich. Eat it in moderation. You know, but for me, like I said, since I'm the only one, 12 bars like this is plenty because it's going to take me a while to eat it anyway. You know, I'll just stick it in a container, a glass container, and store it so I can eat it. Oh, that's what that's what you said, Erlene, that they're very good. Um, they, As a whole, carob is sweeter than your actual chocolate. And this has got carob chips in them, which are sweet anyway. They're sweet and carob chips. They taste better than your actual chocolate. They look like chocolate because of the carob chips. That's what they have in them. They're much better for you than your, your chocolate. Your chocolate has got caffeine in it, which you do not want. Yeah, moderation is the key. You don't want to overdo. You know, they say that anything that's vegan is good for you, but you shouldn't be eating too much at once, especially if it's got, you know, like any kind of sugar in it, like your cane sugar or your coconut sugar, you still want to eat it in moderation, not overdo. So um, you got to be careful what you do and, and still what you eat because it's taken me a while to get at the position I'm at now. You know, I've had to be diligent and watch what I eat every day, not eat the wrong things and not eat too much of one thing or of the same thing so that I can lose the weight because I have been heavy my whole life. And now that I'm losing weight, I want to stay on that journey to continue losing the weight. It's not been easy, let me tell you. When I first started on this plant-based journey, it was very, very hard to get away from eating meat, especially um, not that as much as cheese and eating eggs, because I used to eat eggs maybe once a week and eat cheese quite a bit. Oh, thank you, thank you. But I decided I can make my own vegan cheese. And if I want an egg, just make a chia seed egg or a flax egg out of flax meal. There, there, I've seen some recipes on YouTube that, that don't use eggs. They use that very thing, chia seeds or flax meal. Um, yes, you're right. You are so right. Because I have had already had one knee surgery. Oh, back I think it was 90. I think it was around 98 or something. I had knee surgery because... I was trying to lose weight, and I thought, well, I'll get me a jump rope, and I'll start jumping rope to lose weight. That was a bad idea, because I got the jump rope, and I started jumping rope. Well, I came down wrong, and when I came down wrong, I heard my knee pop, and what happened was my kneecap had shifted, and it had gone out of place, and talk about hurt. It hurt for the longest time. I went to the doctor and he x-rayed it. Um, yeah, ouch is right. He x-rayed it and he says, your kneecap has to be put back in place. But the only the uh, way we could do it was with surgery. So he did arthroscopic surgery. And if anybody knows what that is, they don't actually um, open you up. They just put like little um, little small holes, pinholes, and they like put like tubes and stuff down there. And, and a camera, and they see they, they see what they're working, and they do it that way. Um, oh, but you know something? Since I have had this knee surgery, sometimes I can feel it in the cold days in the winter. I will notice it's starting to pain a little bit. So I think it's got a little bit of arthritis out in it. But it's, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're, you're right, Richard. Um, yes, they had to clean the debris up, and it and they put it back into place, but I had to be very, very careful. I mean, and I had to use crutches for the longest time, and boy, I tell you, having never walked on crutches before, and holding that knee up and walking with crutches, oh my goodness, I had a hard time getting around, but so I decided to toss this crutch crutches and try to walk on it without, without the crutches, <laughs> almost an impossibility because I wasn't walking on it right like I should. You know, but I was sure glad to get rid of those crutches. I don't recommend that for anybody.
but don't try to do what I did to lose weight. That was a poor way to try to lose weight. I mean, it worked until I came down wrong. I mean, I, and, and I thought, well, I didn't go outside. I was doing it in the house, but just the fact that I came down wrong, it was, it was very, <laughs> you're right, Richard. He will. He's going to make all things new again. We're going to have glorious bodies and my knees will be a lot different. I'll be able to run and jump in heaven higher than I've ever jumped before. I don't run either because I'm afraid I'll fall because I have weak ankles and I have to be careful. So I won't have to worry about that in heaven. I'll be able to run. I'll be able to jump, you know, and uh, I'm not worried a bit. But I, right now, 70 years old, I've got to take it easy and not overdo. You know, and my son told me on my birthday, he says, Mom, I just can't picture you being 70. I said, well, <laughs> Yeah, even fly. You're right. We're going to fly someday. We definitely are. We're going to go to other worlds. You know, and I could hardly wait for that for that day. You know, it's coming very, very soon. Um, I recommend that you guys watch. If you're not following Dr. O, follow him because he's got prophecy scopes. I put on once in a while. Simeon does. Regina does. And hi, Mark. Good to see you. Here is my uh, carob bars that I made. Carob almond butter bars. I, if, you, if you didn't see my previous scope, Mark, because I don't know if you were in or not, because I didn't pay attention, watch the previous scope that shows you how I made them. And this is the finished product, because I, I cut the scope off before they came out of the oven, because they had about 20 minutes to go yet, and I had to let them cool off, because I wanted my dishes to get done. I wanted to get my dishes done before I came back in here, because I had a sink full of dirty dishes. So, yeah, don't they look good? They And, and there are only 12 here. Um, <laughs> Well, uh, it's kind of, kind of hard to get them through the computer. <laughs> I'd love to, but a little hard to get them through the computer. But they look very good, don't they? And I mean, they're very moist. I mean, look at that. I mean, look look at that. How moist. And they look nice top and bottom, you know, and they look so good. And I intend, like I said, I'll post this up on Facebook. I'll post it up on YouTube. I'll post it in my Facebook group. If you want to join the Facebook group, just get, just send me a message. <laughs> Yes, you're right. I never thought about that, Richard. You think of everything. There you go. Absolutely. Uh, whoa, leave it to Richard to come up with that. You're right. That's one for each of the disciples. Exactly. You know, I think that was meant to be, you know. But like I said, for a fellowship meal at church, I'm going to make a double batch or make two batches because this wouldn't be enough, you know, to serve as many people as we have that come to our potlucks. But um, I thought for me... This will just be fine because I don't intend to eat very many of them anyway. Like I said, moderation is the key. You don't want to overdo because it may be vegan, but is it all that healthy? You know, the carob chips can, you know, put, because I don't want to put weight back on again. I've had a hard enough time trying to get this weight off and I don't want to put it back on again. So uh, moderation is the key. Believe me, when I eat my lunch later, um, I'm going to uh, eat one of these as a dessert. Hi, Valerie. Welcome. If you didn't see my other Periscope, you go in and watch my previous scope to show how to make my bars. And here they are. Aren't they? Don't they look good, though? Very good. And you know what makes them chocolate? It's the carob chips. And there's almond butter in it, too. Um, no, a potluck is when we have fellowship meal at church. That's a silly question to ask. Somebody here evidently is not Christian. But anyway, um, I... Uh, every two weeks, I, I'm going to start fixing for the fellowship meal because my son has the book on the, um These here, these are carob chocolate chip almond butter bars that I just made. I just finished them. If you want to see my other scope, go back and watch my previous scope that shows you how I made them. And this is the finished product because they were still in the oven when I cut the other scope off as I had my dishes to wash and I had things I wanted to get done. Uh <laughs> Yeah, you're you're right. They sure did not know exactly. Yeah, well, potluck. When I mentioned potluck, it's it's a meal that we have after church where we all gather together. We bring food, we fix food at home. We bring it for that meal, and we all fellowship together around the table. You know, we have real long tables up uh, in our upstairs is where we have them. And we all sit together and we we enjoy our meal together and we talk and and things like that. That's exactly what I like to call the fellowship meal. Um, <laughs> And, oh, onion, well, I don't know about eating onion with this, you know. Uh, I don't want to put onion in this either. I don't want to eat this with onion. But I'll probably have some of my oat burgers later because I got some left from last week and heat them up, maybe put them in the skillet and heat them up and whatever and, and have these for dessert because 
you know, I like dessert, and this will make a real good dessert. As you can see, it's got, I've got some of the chips on top. I put some, I made a little extra so I could pour some on top. And that makes it look really good. And I like the fact they came out nice and moist. They look good, and I know they're going to taste good, too. I took it from Early, and she said they taste very good. They're not lasting long in her house because she's got a husband and a son to feed. I only have myself to feed. Uh, you know, I haven't looked for that yet, Mark, but that's a good thing to look for. I might be able to try some of that. You're right. Yeah, didn't they, though? Didn't they, Early? I'm glad you asked that, Mark. That's another recipe I could think about looking for. There could be a vegan yogurt out there. You know, there's so many, so many recipes out there. There's a lot on Pinterest, too. But there again, a lot of the recipes that you find, whether they're on YouTube or they're on Pinterest, they end up using ingredients that I would never use, like apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper, stuff like that. I just leave that stuff out. That's why I like to make the recipes my own. Because you can add to the recipe what you want and leave out what you don't. Um, no, I'm always finding recipes. However, this recipe I did not find, Mark. Erlene that's in here, she found this recipe and sent it to me yesterday through Messenger. And I looked at it, and she's already made them. And I decided to, to uh, make them and periscope it and show you what they look like. She says they're very good, and I trust her on that because hers look very good too so she's the one that sent me the recipe and I have her to thank for that because her and I we share recipes back and forth sometimes I'll find something that she hasn't found and I'll send it to her or she'll find something that I haven't found and send it to me so we're, we're doing a back and forth that way but like I said I do have a a, um, a Facebook group called Karen's Vegan Heaven now Heaven is spelled with a capital H and my first name is spelled with a capital K so if you want to find hi Desiree good to see you uh, oh, yes, it is It is early, and I'm going to go back later and, and do it again. But if you want to be on my Facebook group called Karen's Vegan Heaven, spelled, spelled um, with a capital H, then you just let me know, and I'll add you to the group. And basically what the group is, hi, good to see you, welcome. Basically all the group is, is we share recipes with each other. We find vegan recipes, and we share them with each other. Um, um Sure you can. Sure you can, Mark. Are you on Facebook? I'm on a, it's a Facebook group. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, follow, uh, ask for a follow or, uh, on Karen Watterson, and I'll follow you, and then I can add you to that because you have to be a, a part of Facebook group in order for me to add you. Okay, all right. You, then you follow me. Just search for Karen Watterson and ask for a confirmation, or, or, and I will, I will follow you, and then I will add you into the group because basically what we do is we share recipes and don't and don't be bashful to post a recipe on there and and uh, the picture of it you know they you don't the pictures do not have to be perfect because mine aren't but as long as we can see what you've made and you've posted the recipe every ingredient that you've used now when I make substitutions I say so if you made a substitution you tell them in the recipe because we can all share with each other and learn how to make the same thing. Now, Erlene posted a recipe in there this morning that I have made before. Vegan cheese. It's sliceable cheese. Very good because it's got carrots in it, got potatoes in it, amongst other things. Very good cheese recipe. Um, well, they I tasted a little bit. And I don't want to bite into these because these are going to go on Facebook. This picture is going to go on Facebook. But I actually, what little bit I did have, they're very, in fact, I might find one. Here's one that fell apart. Let's try this one. Wow, mm. they're good, and they are moist, too. Mm. I like them, and I think you will, too. Very good. Mm -hmm. This is a keeper. That's what I do. Um, a, while, a while back, a while back, uh, Richard, I found one on YouTube, and I did make a vegan cheesecake. And I did, I did scope it in here, and I also put it, put the recipe up on YouTube that I made. Um, okay. Oh yes, didn't it though? Oh yeah, that you need to make that one. Um, yeah, I know. Finding rest, you're right. You're right, rest. Uh, you're right, early. These are addictive, but you know, looking for recipes is it can be addictive too. But you know, it's something that we're doing for the Lord because we're. We're finding recipes that we could share with other people and to, and encourage them to be vegan too, you know. And um, 
Oh, yes, it was very good, Richard. It was very good. I, it is up on YouTube. If you, if you are not following me on YouTube, feel free to follow me on YouTube. It's the same name as here, Karen Watterson, up on YouTube. It's the same thing on Facebook and on Instagram as well. And just look for that. And uh, I have got my my uh, um, YouTube videos in, into playlists. However, some of them I'm going to have to change where I've got them. But all you have to do is just go down. The, I've got quite a few. I've got probably over 300 or so um, things posted up on there. And I, well, with the recipes, with the um, and I sh and I showed the the scope is there, and I put the recipe in the description box and showed you how I made it. I do that because a lot of people want to learn how to make these themselves, and I got that from Philip. He had told me he says, "Well, post the recipe up there so people can make it," because a lot of YouTube videos you come along, they don't have the recipe there. So you, then you have to try to figure out. Well, they're telling you what they're adding, so you have to hurry up and write it down as they're as they're adding it. You know, and then some will have the link to the recipe in an. Uh, on another page. Well, that's fine, but if they don't put the recipe there at all, how are you going to know what it tastes like? So that's why I decide I put the recipe in the description box, let everybody know exactly what it caught, what it calls for, and maybe what I use because I don't always necessarily use everything that the recipe calls for. That's how you can make them your own because you can tweak them a little bit because you're always going to find a, a recipe that might have something in there that you yourself would not eat or something that you might like that you put in it that it doesn't have in it and you'll take out something that you don't want to like any recipe that calls for apple cider vinegar and lemon juice I just put the lemon juice in and leave out the apple cider vinegar and I also don't use cayenne pepper there's some that use cayenne pepper well I don't use that either and I don't use cinnamon either so that's another thing I leave that out so if something calls for cinnamon yeah, I don't I don't um, use that either but that's how I like that's why I like doing these recipes something that I can make my own you know, share it out with other people. And this is actually my own because they used real real chocolate chips. I use carob chips. So I kind of made it my own that way. Um, uh, not really. It's, it's, it's fermented. Apple cider vinegar is fermented. You don't want to put that in your body. That's not good for you. Lemon juice is, is a good replacement for, for apple cider vinegar. Yes, it is. It's fermented. Uh, apple cider vinegar is fermented. Um, you, you, absolutely, it's fermented. You don't... Mm -mm. You don't want to put that in your body. So uh, you just do research on it. It's not good for you. So I don't recommend recommend you eating apple cider. Some still do. There are some Adventists I see that post on YouTube that still use apple cider vinegar. I won't mention any names, but there's one particular that still uses apple cider vinegar. I don't think she knows she's not supposed to, but she does. Um, oh, you're saying no way to them? Oh, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Because they... They don't realize that apple cider vinegar is no good. We should not be eating that stuff. Lemon juice is fine. You know, and lime juice and things like that. But not apple cider vinegar. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Don't eat apple cider vinegar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I know they do. But they, <laughs> they don't realize it's not. They don't realize it's fermented. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Here are my, my carob chocolate chip. Almond, almond butter bars. And this recipe is more or less my own because they used actual chocolate chips. I changed it, made carob chip, put carob chips in it. So it's basically my own because I ch changed the recipe. I tweaked it. So that's what you do. You, it more or less becomes your own and I'm going to post it. I got the picture taken. I'm going to take it and put it up on Facebook. Um, uh, the what team? I'm not sure what that is. Um... um No, why would you ask that question? That, no, that's, that, that is very disgusting. Why would I want to do that? Oh, my goodness. What a question to ask. That comment makes me laugh. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus did it? No, I didn't even, never even heard it. I never do that. You know, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a vegan and, and uh, oh, you good, good. And I have my own uh, vegan uh, Facebook page because I wanted to start one for for people in here that want to go vegan. There is there are other vegan ones out there, but I wanted to start my own, you know, for our own special group. And good, good, and because uh, I want to be able to share my recipes on Facebook and in my group as well. So I've got my bases covered. I'm going to, I'm going to put up several. Oh, thank you for the super hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to be able to post this up several different places. And, you know, I get my bases covered. So if you're following me on Instagram 
It's Karen Watterson, 1948, I think, or is it Kay Watterson, 19... I'm not sure how, exactly how it is on Instagram. I'd have to look it at, but I'm also on Instagram, too. I never remember from one day to the next how I have it on there. I think it's Karen Watterson, 1948. But, um, yeah, it's... See, they, uh, don't they look good? I'll, I'll show these one more time. Don't they look? Don't they look delicious? They look. They look very, very good, and very, very healthy. And I think I'm going to go in a little bit though, so I can I can relax a little bit before I, I eat my lunch in a little while. And I'm going to have one of these then. But I thank you for coming on the second time around, because it's because of you that I'm able to keep going, be able to share these things out. Be able to share my recipes out. And like I said, if you're not following me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook. Karen Watterson on Facebook. And it's the same thing on YouTube. And I believe, like I said, it's Karen Watterson 1948 on Instagram. Follow me because I'm going to share. I'm going to post these all up there. And and be, feel free to join my vegan group on Facebook, Karen's Vegan Heaven. Just send me a message. And, uh, and uh, I'll be happy to add you. Now, heaven is spelled with an H. I did that differently than, than everybody else would. Somebody had uh, vegan haven. Well, that I didn't want to do the same thing as somebody else because it would get mixed up with that person. So I decided, in fact, one of my periscopers said use the word heaven. So And so I decided, well, that sounds good because I'm trying to get ready for heaven. You know, and we're not going to be eating the kind of stuff that they have on this earth, you know, in heaven. The cheese, the milk the eggs and stuff. We're going to be eating the fruits and vegetables in heaven, the plants. So that's why I'm deciding to do that. Make my own Facebook group, invite people in there to share their recipes with us and make things and show us what they did, what they made. And don't, and feel free to share because that's what that's there for. Um, oh no, I didn't either. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, I that when I saw that person come in, I should have known that that person would be a horrible person. Oh my goodness, people have the dark. I think I better go while I've still got my sanity yet, because people like that cause me to really want to pull my hair out, and I don't really want to do that. But I thank you all for coming in and, and sharing this with me, and I, I'm the live viewers as well as the replay viewers. I hope you all have a great and marvelous day, and I hope to come in one of these days, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, to do the vegan pot pie. Because I have a vegan pot pie recipe that I'm absolutely dying to try. So, in the meantime, I hope you all have a great day. Take care. God bless and Bye-bye.